we're just leaving Calendar and to head north um, up the side of Loch Lubnig. So I've left this morning. The guys from Caithness, most of them except Fair, left last night. Uh, rode down the road. They had a bit of a wet, wet camp last night at Tim's at Sooner Camping. And we're all meeting at Oban today to get the ferry to Tyree. We were going to take the cabs, but I'm so, so glad we didn't because I'd probably still be over by Falkirk or Grange with her son. It's been so windy and it's like been a headwind. So, and I've been stuck at 30 mile an hour all the way here on the cab. It'd been absolute fucking torture. Plus, I've got about half a Tesco's in my panniers for me and Mikey to eat. Mikey doesn't know this yet, but um, I'm going to transfer a lot of that food into his bike. He's got a huge tank, uh, top box in his Deville. So he can take his beans and shit. Uh, you might have to buy a new tent as well, because apparently his tent leaked last night. Busted, he'll be raging. So there's the pack of six. As you can tell from my face. Uh, I've had five. Plants have changed. So I wasn't ahead yesterday, but the weather was awful. So we had folk come up to stay a night. Or two nights, Lindling Bowls where a couple of guys. So stay back next extra day to see them. And then decide to head down early today. So it means early. Try and get to the ferry and open. Only starting to rain again a little bit. But then, extra night at home, extra night with the guys, and one less night in the rain. Be upset if I crash in it. And it's not for the applause, no. Oh, no, no, no. So you got Ferg's old beamer, but she said he didn't want to bring because it was dull. Bob's Africa twin, but she really wanted to bring because he says it's absolutely amazing. Lucy's KTM, which is well, a bit rusty. Louis, you need to wash your bike more, mate. And Mike's Deville, which he also says is absolutely amazing. Ah uh, yeah, this progression is usually sad But it felt my sorrow when I wanted it to feel me glad We're waiting for the ferry to Tyree And there's a man here that, well, well you can see your bit <laughs> Andrea, how are you doing? You've got my old Honda Cub C90 So it's still going strong, it's still going around Scotland So good stuff, uh, I've upgraded to a new Cub so, But the old one, I looked after it So you look after it as well <laughs> Fucking dynamite! 
it's quite a long sailing so far. I'll let Bob do an update. Really long sailing. Really, really, really long sailing. I've been sitting here for most of the day, but it's so arse. I like doing the bike. The waves have been crashing over the front. W waves have been crashing over the front. Just sticking out from the sea slightly. That's it over there. No mountains to climb there. Oh, good. Go. We're on We've arrived. It's a tad windy, but we're here. Really nice. The bike's got a fair soaking on the on the boat with the salt water, but the guy's giving us a shot of hose. Sweet. So my bike would be a fucking rusty mess by the time I get home. It's a it's Just a, a rinse with salt with cold water is all it needs. Lewis wants into the action, I think. You want a rinse? Yeah. Odd noise from Mike's tent as he's gone a little bit crazy. Yeah, it's all because of what happened. This was a gift to that. Well, the jacket was a gift to my dad because, quote unquote, now you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I counted out 60 pushes to get my ex-bed up earlier. So we're just going to set up in the campsite need to get some scran. Campsite is really nice. The guy is super helpful as well. I mean, he let us, uh, he let us hose the bikes down. He's just had showed us around this campsite. Thanks. Uh, he just showed us around the campsite and he's... Uh, he basically said, look, if you something happens and you're you need help, you've got his number, so he's gonna if, if any shit is the fan when you're out and about in Tyree, he's the guy that'll come and help you. Which is really nice of him. Well yeah, so far very impressed with Tyree. Brawl at Island. I see why a lot of people come here to surf, holy shit! Stopped for, uh, this is 
this what I want to do. Dimble with electric to be right. That would be right. Proper, proper black I'm awake. We're here in Tyree. It's a nice day. Nice day, Bob. Fantastic day when it's, when it's not raining really hard. Yeah, quite heavy, wasn't it? So, yeah. But there is it's pissed down a bit, but everyone's fine. Happy days. Lots of explore Tyree. Morning, Sunday. Don't let the sunshine fully absolutely pouring on and off all night. That's what you need though. Because it is super bright now. Anyway, let's get up, see what the guys are doing, get some breakfast, and do some exploring of Tyree. Hill check also. Really hard to see the colour. Relatively clear, not too bad. Yeah, you can see the clouds there. So since I uh, got out of hospital, I don't drink as much booze unfortunately, which is a pretty boring. Um, so I don't really get the chance to use a piss bottle, so we're going to have to analyse Ferg's piss. This is really important when you're camping to have a piss bottle, or else you have to get up. It was like fucking pissing in the rain and blowing a gale last night. So it's like we were all sweet. Yeah, good on sweet. Right, we'll go over a little bit, so we're going to walk in there. We'll have to review this and see what it sounds like with my external mic as well. Go, go. You're real hydrated, Ferg. Right? I only had a couple of glasses of wine last night, though. Don't. don't. That, that's good hydration rather than bad alcohol. Can you hear Lou packing off? All the time. Jesus. I was all the because Lou's a teenager, he does masturbate about four to five times in an hour. Yep. It's just almost constant. We better leave him because he'll need his sleep. He needs to sleep until about four o'clock in the afternoon. Quality. Yeah. Hey, boy. You okay, Bob? Yeah. These guys are just having fun. That was quick. Short, my first, short, short first sweet. My first meat <laughs> bike. Sit down here. Louis had left his helmet on the bike all night. With his gloves pointing towards the wind of the ring. What? Mm. And then I went, Lewis, you might work. Yeah, how much do you might? You see it? Not just my belly. I'm like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Well, now I said there were some tiny birds in here. Oh, I'll be over in a minute. See you soon. Oh, she done under the sheep. We're off to explore Tyree. I should have put my visor before we left. Fuck sakes. Jeez, look at the beaches. Look at that. That is stunning. Whew. It's just a short walk for the campsite as well. We could go there tonight. No, oh, it's only rain. Luckily, all the rain just blows straight over.
Давай. We're tracking up to the radar station, which is like the highest point on the island up there. I think again out there, next stop's Canada. Pretty cool. Which way is the wind going? Oh. You can see for miles. You can see four miles. So, radar station. That was the radar station. I just hope you can all see. I've not smeared the lens. I've got somebody to check it down here. Check the record of the place, jeez, oh. Tyree's like famous for having nice beaches, but this is, uh, look at that, holy shit. That's worth a photo. Stunning. This looks like a Fergus. Yo! Up, yo? No, no much, the radar station's up that way. 
good views. Right, right to the top. Yeah. Look at that, holy shit. That beach is stunning. Tyree is a stunning little island. Absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. So we'd originally planned to take the Cubs and people were saying the Cubs would be far better if we were on the island. But look at the roads, the roads are a bit rough. You're flying along and the cub gets smashed to bits. Whereas here, on the Africa Twin, it feels amazing. I'd much rather be on the Africa Twin, uh, than on this bike than the cub, for without a doubt. Look, Mikey's showing us that. It looks like a black house. Thatch roof in there. I'm going further up here. Man, everywhere you go, there's a nice beach here. I assume it's just another beach down here. I assume all that's World War II defences. Must be fucking mad out here in World War II. Imagine being posted here. You'd be laughing. Who were you sent? Tyree. What did you do? <laughs> Said to have a laugh. See, I'm doing 15 mile an hour. That would be too fast in the cab. I'd be knocking the fuck out of it. So according to Mikey's map, this is the most northern bit of the island that we're at. So we're gonna head right down the south. Oof. I'm gonna try it, yeah, don't we? Buff, buff, buff. I think they're like big things like a flaw. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of there, look, look out point. 
Yeah, that's a, that's definitely a lookout. That may be guns though. That's the radar over there where we are. There must be a road up to that mast. Good God, a flag shagger. I've never understood royalism. I was actually on the radio once speaking, well, arguing as I do with a, a guy in regards to the royal family. And he'd served in the army and he said he was proud to have served and protected them. And I was like, well, why? Because, I mean, whether you like the royal family or not, the way they they get their position is, is a bit fucked. I mean, they're born in it, so the only qualification for their job is being born. And it's not, you know, it's it's not really that's no good in this day and age. And he said it was ridiculous. He's like, that's ridiculous. I was like, it's true though. Well, yeah, but to have a flag of his house for King Charles, it just seems strange. It's like having a, the adult equivalent of a poster on the wall for, my god, that looks good over there. So right now, that's the east side. I'm totally disorientated here. I feel like I'm heading north and I'm heading south. To be fair, that's not the first thing that's happened to me. Although I think we are on the west side of the island. Just now. Yeah, it's a stunning, stunning little island this. Good God. That's them all preparing for the, uh, the Tyree Festival. We were coming along here yesterday and there was rates and rates of birds taken up for the grass. There's oyster catchers like that one. I wonder if you could hear, hope you could hear that. That bird was dive bombing me. It must have uh, a nest. Pub. How full's my battery? It's very empty. Right, I thought so. You can start windsurfing, Bob. No. Yeah, the We're away to find some, apparently, according to Mikey's pal on Facebook, there's an abandoned black house with human remains in it. 
So that's what we're away, away to find. Except I don't think it's true. It's super nice though. Oh, it's up by that windmill apparently. See the windmill over there in the distance on the horizon? That's where this uh, corpse house is. So we'll wait and see. Fair play to young Lewis. He's, uh, he's out doing it on his 125 with his L plates. He's been all over the place. Check the beach, man. It's it is stunning. I don't think Mikey can see the black house. I think he was hoping to see it. And there ain't jack shit here. Well, that's Call over there. There's Call. Call also has nice beaches. And I think we're camping literally just over there, over that beach, because the beach is a five minute walk. Man, check it out. There ain't jack shit. See, see that beach over there? See the beach over there? I think that's where we're camping. Tomorrow night. Well, it's over in call, so we can't go for a look. Okay. I think we've now given up on the search for the corpse and we're away looking for something else. Fuck knows what. I think Mikey's still on the lookout for the corpse. He's pointing at any derelict buildings now, quite excitedly. We've not found the corpse. Relic Hunter Sunter isn't going to be happy. Bastard! I'm going down there to turn round. Eh? I need to go down there to turn round. Uh, what? What? It's just a fish processing plant, I think. Are you upset because we've not found a corpse? Well, I'm looking for this black house light. Maybe he's winding me up. I think he's winding you up. I can't fucking believe this. I was forced to come up here. I even tried to ride away. So we're trying to see if we can see the ruins of a black house. I can't see jack shit. That's the only one. I can't see fuck. There's no fucking. Gl that must be the only one. The sun hit the beach. Jeez, oh. That looks good. So I've got, I've got a plan to sell the K75 
and buy another bike. And I think if I buy another bike, Karina could ride it and we could come to Tyree for our first bike trip. Because yeah, so it'd be another small bike, but we wouldn't be buying a big bike. I was thinking about a ZZR 1400, but it would just end in tears. I would lose my license or, uh, or my life. Or both. Nightmare. So that was our exploration of Tyree. So, is Tyree a good motorbike island? Fuck I. It's quality. If you're looking for a wee island to come and visit in Scotland, that not many people have been riding to, come to Tyree. It's bra. See, I don't know if I would come back here on the Cub. I think, speaking of Ferg, because Ferg is the, probably the number one advocate of travelling by C90. And even he was like, yeah. So a big bike like this with long travel suspension is the sort of best option. And it is. I mean, why the hell would you crash around everywhere in a Cub when you've got this in the garage? Well, this is the downside. It rains. Some people don't, don't aren't bothered though. <laughs> that's not Bob's piss bottle. That's his nettle beer. The good thing is it'll blow over soon. Draw a horse. Hi, bud. It has. Back in the better though, play. Bob's yeah. doing some oh, painting. Quiet, that's Mike's video. doing some filming. Mike's doing some photo editing. And um, we're all doing some eating. Look good. Can I have it? Took me two minutes. Well, Can I have it? it? What? Can I have it? Oh. You've got a phone talking, you? I want it. Can I have it? It's a Bob Castle. Oh, yeah, that's this morning's work. Buy off you. <laughs> 25 quid. No. 25 pounds. I've got the other drawing on the other side. 25 pounds then. Yeah, that way it wants it. Oh. You're not on the other. Oh, yes, you are. What's wrong with the pizza? Well, I had to fold it to get in the pizza. Uh, Draw the shit. So it wasn't folded to go in the top box, it was just the freezer. Yeah, it's in the panio. Well, <laughs> that's that's that. it's dinner time. <coughs> I'm having dinner time with the dinner. Bob's like, you stop filming me eating. I can't do anything exciting. <laughs> Bob loves the camera. They're all over the internet. And the camera loves Bob. Yeah, in about five years. <laughs> I think it'll be that long. Good pin, Bob. Really nice. What is it, Bob? It's mango and coconut. Mm. Not what I would choose, but it's quite good. He's enjoyed it. <laughs> He's a hard man to please. Sunflower. Sun lover. 
give it up. <laughs> He's just legs, like it's fine. I'm not, I'm just dick. <laughs> so after a nice day out, um, we had a nice ride round, I've made Mikey a pussy glass. Everyone thinks it's hilarious. It's grand. They're ripping, out. They're ripping the piss like they did with my poncho. You must have to watch what side you drink it out of. Enjoy your whiskey. Oh. Try it. What if I try and open it? Oh yeah, that works. Yeah, but it didn't spill everywhere. Listen, what the fuck? Brilliant. I know you've got glasses, but... It's Judah. Slice Judah. That was it. No. Oh. What a way to... Well, you on top of your head, Bob? So, you have to wear it. A jaunty angle we fall off so we keep more fun. Com comfortably do this. Yeah, and constantly wear your head to the left. <laughs> wear your head. Wear your head. Well, we've all done the whole thing.